this is important one. This is the patella. And below the patella, you see this structure is called patellar ligament. And you know that patellar ligament is here below the patella, and we sometimes use for clinical tests, right? Knee, junk. We hit small with small hammer, like this, right? To see if your knee, uh, your leg kicks forward. That is the knee reflex or knee jerk. Testing, patellar ligament. <coughs> Above the patella, this structure is called quadriceps tendon or tendon of quadriceps femoris. Why? Because this one is coming from the quadriceps muscles. Now, why this is called a tendon? This is called a ligament. Same structure. Structurally, they are same, right? This is called a tendon, this is called a ligament. If you see the fibrous structure that joins the muscle and the bone, that is a tendon. Muscle to bone is what? Tendon. tendon. And bone to bone is ligament. Although same structure, if it goes from muscle to the bone, that is a mm -hmm. tendon. And bone to bone? Ligament. ligament. So this one is going from patella to the tibia, tibial tuberosity. That's why it is a ligament. Now, in both sides of patella, you have retinaculum. This is called medial retinaculum. This is the lateral retinaculum because you know that fibula is the lateral bone. So this is the lateral side, this is the medial side. By looking at fibula, you can tell that's the lateral side, okay? And then, beside them, for the lateral, you have collateral ligament. The one attached to the tibia is tibia collateral. The one attached to the fibula, that is the fibula collateral ligament. So those are some tendons and ligaments, or retinacula. Now, you see all these structures are same, fibrous connective tissue structures, but they, Name differently, right? Yes. One is called tendon that connects what? Bones with the muscle. muscle. Yeah, right. Muscle bone, right? Ligament? Bone to bone. And retinaculum, same structure. Retinaculum, if you see, the structure is flat, like a sheet. Okay? Flat sheet, that is called retinaculum. Okay? Structure is it. So, rope like structure is a ligament or tendon, and if it is flat, that is a retinacula. Is it clear? <coughs> okay, now inside the knee joint, the articular cartilage, which is hyaline cartilage, you know that covers the end of the bone. Around that, only in knee joint, you have a fibrocartilaginous structure that is called meniscus. I believe you have heard it, meniscus. And remember, meniscus is fibrocartilage, not hyaline cartilage. And uh, turning of meniscus is very commonly hard. Turning of meniscus. So you need to fix it by surgery. Okay? Or replace the meniscus uh, with artificial meniscus. Here you see uh, the turning of cruciate ligament, turning of meniscus. This is meniscus, turning at cruciate ligament, okay, but some other ligaments, collateral ligament. What happened? My father used to play sports. Okay. And he always explained that he has really bad knees now, so he can't play. He always explained that his knees went from this to this. That that will uh, create a lot of pressure inside him. Yeah, he, he's in a lot of pain. Mm -hmm. He had some really bad surgery. Yeah. Usually, like see, this is the joint, knee joint. Uh, if I bend this way, something hits here. Okay, bend this way. Then 
the pressure will be in opposite side, right? More. So the chance of turning up ligaments uh, is more in the other side. That's what happened here. You see, uh, the, the turning has occurred in the opposite side. Shoulder joint. Shoulder joint is another synovial joint which is called bone, uh, sorry, ball and socket. Makes sense because you see the head of the humerus is a ball and glenoid cavity is a socket. So ball and socket type synovial joint. Another ball and socket is what? Hip joint. You know that femur has nice round head, right? It's like a ball. So these are ball and socket type synovial joint. And in shoulder joint, you have three, uh, actually five, but uh, three uh, different types of ligaments. One is called coracohumeral ligament, another is coracoacromial ligament, and three glenohumeral ligament. So those are five ligaments. Now, these names are really easy if you know the name of those parts. In last class, I told you, this is, today I also mentioned, this is what? Acromion, remember that? Acromion, subacromial bursa I showed you. So this is acromion, right? And the beak of the bard like structure, that is called coracoid. Remember that? So this is coracoid, this is acromion. You know that, right? Now, after I told you, you know that. Okay. So this is what? Coracoid. As, no, this is acromion. And this is coracoid. And this is what? Humerus. Humerus. Okay. So first, coracohumeral ligament. Right? Coracohumeral. That means what? This is the coracoid and this is humerus. The ligament will be like this. Coraco, humeral ligament. Then coraco acromial. This is coracoid. This is acromion. So like this. Make sense? Coraco acromial ligament. Glenohumeral. This is the glenoid cavity you already know. So from the glenoid to the humerus. Glenohumeral. There are three. Glenohumeral. So if you know the name of those parts, it, it becomes... The glenoid is the flat part that is the deep. Little bit shallow. Yeah, yeah, mostly, yeah, almost but flat. Yeah, right, exactly. So that's the glenoid cavity, right? Okay. So the ligament comes just from around the cavity, like this. Okay? So this is the glenoid cavity, this is the head of the humerus, and the ligaments arise from the outside of the cavity. Okay, like this. So those are the ligaments around the shoulder joint and they uh, uh, reinforce the joint. Still that joint is not that strong because you see this is the glenoid cavity which is almost flat and this is the head of the humerus. Now this is a synovial joint, right? So it should be covered, the bones should be covered by hyaline cartilage. So you see the hyaline cartilages, articular cartilage. This is the synovial cavity that contains the fluid and you see the barsa under the acromion, subacromial barsa that I explained before. Like this. Okay. Those are the ligaments I mentioned. Coracohumeral, coracoacromial, glenohumeral ligaments. Okay. Make sense? Okay. Now, uh, mm, couple of clinical conditions related to the joints. One is called rheumatoid arthritis. Have you heard this? I have this. You have this? Okay. Yes. So we got a person who has it. Okay. Rheumatoid arthritis. Uh, now we know that this inflammation of joint occurs in the soft tissue structures of the joint. And mostly due to auto 
immune autoimmunity your own body produces antibodies against your against the structures of your joints okay so try to destroy the structures and that causes the inflammation so that is one type of autoimmune disease okay you want to arthritis inflammation of the soft tissue structures of the joint okay not the bones directly okay uh, another is uh, we say rheumatic fever have you heard this rheumatic fever happens mostly no opposite children between 5 to 15 years most of the cases children gets rheumatic fever and this is actually uh, an inflammation that occurs in the joints due to streptococcal bacteria have you heard that strep throat have you heard that yes. strep throat have you heard okay so if you get strep throat for a long time and don't you know get antibiotic to treat it it stays there for a long time in kids uh, most of the time, that streptococci bacteria, they go to the joints, cause inflammation, and eventually they go to the heart and destroy the valves of the heart, okay? Damage the valves of the heart. So, valvular defect occurs uh, if you don't treat this. Osteoporosis, it occurs more in women or men? Women. Okay. After menopause, it happens more, okay? Uh, so we know that this is more related to female sex hormone. Uh, what is that? Estrogen. 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 Okay? So estrogen uh, deficiency causes holes, pores in the bones. Many, you'll see many pores or holes in the bone. That's why it is called osteo means bone, poresis, holes, pores. So that makes the bone really fragile, no? very, very weak. From outside, you probably won't know, but inside you have many holes. Uh, so those are kind of common problems in the joints. Should we stop here? Is that enough? Yeah. <laughs> okay.